What's up guys? Today I'm going to be going over six different types of killer boots that you can sell on eBay for big money. So stick around. All right guys, the first boots that I want to talk about are called uh, equestrian boots or a riding boots or they, they call them English riding boots. Um, and they're also even known as field boots. And uh, the thing about these boots is, um, you know, what you will notice are that they are much taller than your average uh, boots. Um, also, they're square cut across the top, and you've always, they always come with laces uh, to lace up in the ankle area. Another uh, distinguishing uh, factor about these boots is they are um, always uh, flat, uh, flats, I guess they would, they would call them. Um, they're not exactly flat. They do have a small heel. But, uh, you know, as compared to, uh, you know, a lot of other, other boots, uh, they don't have a tall heel. They are, they are pretty flat. And um, one thing that you'll usually notice about them is normally the inside of the boot is cut lower than the outside of the boot. And uh, they, they usually come about to the knees. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, they are English riding boots uh, or also known as dressage boots. Uh, you can find them made by Ariat. Uh, you can you can find uh, Danners. You can find um, you can even find these made by Hermes, uh, which is you know as you guys all know you know the Hermes ties and uh, you know one of the best brands out there. But they also make equestrian boots, and if you find a pair made by Hermes, of course you want to grab those. Those are going to be big big money in your pocket. There are many uh, brands, but the thing that you really want to look at with these particular boots uh, it really doesn't matter so much as far as the exact brand. Although brand will definitely help you to sell them, uh, you know, to get a higher price. Um, if they're real leather and they're in good condition, then you're going to get a pretty decent price for them. So keep your eye out for equestrian riding boots, guys. All right, guys, the next boots uh, that, that to look out for when you're out there that's going to be big money in your pocket is going to be uh, lineman or engineer's boots. Now, uh, the way to identify these particular boots are... Um, the, the identifying factors is going to be uh, a buckle across the top of the boot and uh, buckles across the ankle area, you know, as seen here. Uh, and the taller the boots, the better. As you can see, uh, you know, we've got some really, really tall ones. Those are going to go for big money. Um, Wesco is probably going to be, uh, you know, one of your best brands for lineman boots. Uh, I believe uh, Danner makes some really good lineman's boots. Uh, and also, if you'll, what you'll do is flip them over and look at the soles, and you can see they have these really tough, tough soles um, with, with white stitching. You know, they're pretty well stitched together on the bottoms. So those are going to be the, the real identifying factors for lineman boots. Now, they also like to call these motorcycle boots, uh, you know, because bikers like to wear them. You can list them as biker boots. Um, but uh, they usually have a pretty good heel on them. Uh, they're usually really tough. Sometimes they come in steel toes, sometimes not. Uh, but you know, like I said, uh, that's what you're looking for. Uh, you know, just keep your eye out for these. Uh, they're excellent sellers. And again, if you can find a good brand name, you know, Fry's, uh, you know, any of the really good brand names, of course, they're going to sell better. But as long as they're real leather and they're in decent condition, then they're going to sell well. And even, uh, you know, if they're not in the best condition, you can list them as distressed. So keep your eye out for engineer lineman boots. Now there's also one last type of lineman boots. As you can see, these are Hoffman's and uh, they list them as lineman boots, but you can also call them loggers boots or logger boots uh, because they look like, you know, what a logger would wear. And these are lace-up boots and they're usually really tall. They got a huge heel, really super strong, thick soles. Uh, sometimes it's like a metal, uh, a metal arch support down there or shank, I believe they call it. Um, I could be wrong on that, but uh, like I said, they, you know, they, they, they call them loggers boots. Uh, you know, or lineman boots also they're listed as sometimes. But keep your eye out for those. They're basically the very tall leather lace-ups. And, uh, you know, they got super sturdy soles. And those, and those things sell really, really well, guys. So keep your eye out for those as well. Okay, next on the list of excellent sellers uh, on eBay boots uh, are, are Fry Campus Boots. And that's F-R-Y-E. Uh, and they call them Campus Boots. And what you're looking at here is a pair of Fry Campus. As you can see, they have a tall heel. Uh, these are classics here, the ones that you see. Uh, they come in, uh, normally it's going to be a, a, a tan, you know, a light tan, or maybe a cognac. Uh, as you can see, he, these are uh, an oiled leather, uh, you know, campus, 
by Fry, I believe also. And uh, these sell really well. And these are women's boots. As you can see, they're square toe. They have a stacked heel. And, uh, you know, they are made by Fry's and they're called Campus. And you can also list them as tall boots. Uh, sometimes they're even listed as riding boots. Uh, now the last, uh, they colored, you know, they can come in different colors. Uh, but that's the, basically the style that you're looking for. What you see here is sort of a uh, red mahogany type, maybe a cognac sort of color there. But uh, in any case, they all sell really well. So keep your eye out for Fry Campus Boots for women because those are going to be excellent, excellent sellers. The next type of boots you want to keep your eye out for are motorcycle and biker boots uh, or also known as harness boots. And the reason being, as you can see here, these boots have harnesses. Uh, on them and that's what you're looking for uh, black leather and uh, nine times out of ten they're gonna be black leather hardly sometimes they'll be a dark brown leather uh, a lot of times it'll be an oiled leather uh, but fries are gonna be one of the best brands to sell uh, as far as in this style so keep your eye out for uh, you know for the motorcycle harness type boots that look just like these uh, those are great sellers and the good thing about them again is that you can sell them even when they're sort of distressed they're still gonna sell well uh, Corcoran, uh, Corcoran uh, paratrooper or jump boots, um, and they call them that because, uh, like you know, obviously they are uh, military uh, boots. Uh, Corcoran actually makes them for the military, and as you can see, they are they are a shiny sort of almost a patent leather uh, look. Uh, that's because you know they keep them very shiny. Uh, they're pretty much forced to in the military to keep their you know the shoes excellent and shiny. So they usually have a nice shine to them. Uh, they have fat toes, as you can see, the toe is sort of bulbs out. Um, and like I said, these are jump boots. They're gonna have the really, really solid soles on them. Uh, you flip them over and check the soles and you're gonna see that white stitching usually. If not, they're gonna be you know extra double stitching on the bottoms. And uh, they're usually really heavy and uh, they are lace up uh, in their style and sometimes even a, a buckle up, as you can see on these here. And again, they do like to list these as motorcycle or biker boots you can list them that way uh, because obviously you know bikers like to wear them they make excellent riding boots so uh, when you see them out there anything you know the sort of in this style you want to grab them those are jump boots a lot of times they're, they're you know they might not have a brand name they're just military boots uh, issued by the United States uh, Army or the military probably well, I would say the Air Force uh, you know because they are uh, paratrooper boots but uh, keep your eye out for those guys those are gonna be money uh, normally, you're going to sell anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks. Sometimes even, you know, upwards of 200 dollars, depending on what it is that you get. I hope this video has helped you guys out. If it has, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now and check out all my past videos for all sorts of tips and tricks and videos just like this one to help you guys crush it on eBay. Thanks for watching, guys, and until my next video, you guys be good. Get on out there and make, make that, that money. money.